So, hello everybody. Time again to uh, tie a bit uh, of flies. Uh, today I'm going to focus on doing a few uh, like uh, Green Highlander-ish uh, Scandinavian tube flies. So uh, let's begin. So I'm going to tie four of these uh, uh, Green Highlander stylish uh, flies. Uh, yes, I have uh, for the summer's fishing. I tie like three or four of each pad and always. Um, so I'm gonna use some fluorofiber in the back uh, acting as a tail. So I just tie it in. My dog is making noises. <laughs> and then I just fold it backwards and tie over it. So there we have the tail, then I'm just going to cut it uh, to make it a nicer look. There we go. So let me see, time for the body. I do them quite simple. So I'm just going to do a darker section to imitate like a hurl and I, then I go with a bit of yellow and then green. I like uh, a bushy body. I don't need that much. There we go. And then I go with green. I go with a bit lighter green on this one. <coughs> cleaning up here. Time for the first heckle then. Uh, just gonna change the ca camera angle a bit. I'm gonna have a, a green heckle first. Just gonna find a decent feather. Let's take this one. <laughs> removing all the soft materials. So here we have the fender. Like that. I'm just gonna find my wax one second. See where I put it there. I like to add a bit of wax before I tie in feathers. So, if you haven't fished with the Scandinavian tube flies or tied them before, uh, give it a try. Uh, they fish very well and, and uh, I would say compared to classic salmon flies or whatever, uh, the cost of tying is very low.
So yes, folding the fibers backwards. <clears throat> and there we go. So a bit of wing section. I go with the polar bear. I like to have like a polar bear wing underneath. Of course you can use fox or whatever you got at hand. Let's move this one closer. So just a short section. Make sure it's above the tube. And tie it in. Just gonna remove all those fibers in the front. Cut it off. There we go. So, first section then of an underwing. I'm go, going to go with a bit of orange. This is foxtail as you can see. So just take a small section. Important here is to remove as much underwool as possible. I'm going to show you how I do it. Just removing the long hairs. So I just take the section like this and just pull it out. Otherwise your, your wing is going to be very heavy and bulky. You don't want that. There we go. Bit of orange. And same here, I'm just flattening it on the top. And tie it in. So there we have yellow, orange, and then we're gonna add green. So just cut the ones in the front here. There we go. So time for the next one. A bit of green. This one is a bit loose. I haven't brushed it yet. <laughs> there we have a nice section. So I'm just gonna cut it from the skin and same here just have a look uh, removing all that wool the shorter parts there we go flatten it here as well and just tie it in and here I'm gonna add some uh, just a little bit of tin cell I think I go with this one. Just gonna need two strands. There we got two. So 
that the one a bit longer than the other one. Two strands on each side. I don't want it to overtake. There we go. And then I do the same on the other side. Bit of sparkle. Oh, this <laughs> the ones on my side just went away. So then I use the leftover to tie it in again. That's why I use wax. And then I just cut them to proper length. There we go. So, from tackle, yellow. Same here, just removing the soft ones. A bit of wax to the thread. Removing fibers in the front, a few harder turns with the thread to make sure it sticks. Just folding the fibers backwards. Loose. Let's take another one. I'm gonna use my dark wax if I find it. Ah, it's not on the table. Let's take a new feather. Gonna tie it in a bit harder so it doesn't slip off. Hopefully. Just folding the fibers backwards. <laughs> Just securing the stem there and uh, cut it off. Now be, uh, on the yeah we have uh, two more steps. So we're gonna add just a small section of black since we have quite a lot of uh, fibers already. Just gonna have a hint. Let's 
basically moving on to short term. Spread it across the top and tie it in. This section off, and then I'm gonna add some uh, young cook on the sides. That's not a must, but uh, I like it. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, I got a bit of a cold. So, let me find some decent ones. Be sufficient, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Picking out for the next, next uh, flyer tire as well. So, let's uh, cut off uh, the lower part, the sides. Backs here as well. Doing the same on the other feather. There we go. So I'm just gonna cut the, cut off everything in the front. And what I do, um, I put on varnish, uh, f first clear, then black, and then clear again. And then I just uh, cut uh, the tube uh, in the front. So it uh, has the, the length I want. I'm just going to secure the thread. I can do a first layer of varnish just to show you guys. A lot of people are using like UV glue and so on. Um, I don't use that. Uh, I don't say it's wrong, but I don't like the, the fumes of it. And when it's dry, then I go with black. And when the black is dry, I go with clear again. It's a bit of a process, but I do like 10. 20 at the time and it's okay so now it's just uh, 
take it off uh, to dry and then uh, just do the three others in the same style. So that's it for today. I hope uh, you enjoyed that uh, short uh, tying video. Uh, I got four ready so uh, I'm gonna start another pad and uh, most likely gonna do a video on that as well. So uh, give it a try and have a, a fantastic weekend and see you in the next video.